Brent Wessler with PIF Technologies. Today's session, Automation in Action Weekly Post, is going to be on Microsoft Azure AI Document Intelligence, the 4.0 version. Uh, there's been some changes. The 4.0 version came out in January of this year, 2024. However, there's been some minor revisions from November 2023 to January. So we're going to go through and talk about these two objects here, which is layouts and general documents. And I've always used general documents rather than trying to zonally OCR any type of uh, uh, data value because, as you see here, this is an example where we have an application for an absentee ballot and there's handwriting and the handwriting overlays other key value pairs. So as you can see in this particular case, this is a good example. We have a phone number. Um, if we were to zonally trying to extract this, we'd have to draw a zone around the phone number. Um, typically it would stop right before the next key, uh, which in this case would be the email address. But as you notice, um, that wouldn't work um, because you would get the word probably email or address as part of that particular string. But as you can see here, by utilizing the inherent key value pair capability within Azure, uh, it extracts a value with uh, very good confidence. Okay, so um, this is now deprecated. Um, you'll see here in the November 2023, uh, if we come down, uh, the general document model is deprecated. So what do we do uh, to uh, utilize key value pairs? Uh, so the layout engine, as we'll see here, has now been modified in the analyze options to enable key value pairs. So we can take in that exact same document, run analysis on it, and uh, the difference is, as you see here on the, on the right, um, we have content result code. We're going to get a new tab called fields. And here you go. Um, all of our fields are now extracted very similar to what you saw in the general documents layout. But one of the other new features is this query field capability. Um, as you notice here, uh, it's by default, Azure's pulling the entire name. So Jim M. Smith, and you can see here Jim M. Smith. But if I just wanted the first name, we can call out a query field through a label. So I'm just going to say the word first. Um, so that's the label that we see here. And you'll notice it adds a query field now tab to the field's layout. And as you can see here, it pulled in Jim. So querying is if the application, in this case Azure, doesn't pull the right metadata field, we can utilize uh, the query feature. Now the query feature is, you'll notice if we come in here, you'll notice at the bottom it says you have to acknowledge because there is an additional fee to utilize these advanced features. And the pricing is right here. So this is a great tool um, to leverage uh, anytime there's a form where you do have some structure but there's very tight white spaces or where you find that there's going to be handwriting that overlays some of the other labels. Thank you for attending today. Please like and subscribe for more content.